Hi guys, Kev from Metabo. So here we have our brand new uh, January 2015 KS18 LTX. This is an 18 volt cordless compound miter saw. As we can see, it's extremely compact. It's extremely lightweight, only weighs 9.6 kilos. So it's perfect for outdoor use. It's perfect if you're working, say, in a penthouse or suite, or you're working in some flats where you have to walk up flights of stairs. Maybe the lift is out of action, or maybe you're just jobbing the machine in and out of the back of the van, or go into, cust in, cu into customers' gardens where you have to carry the machine, and potentially there's no power source there. So we have an 18 volt machine, obviously, it's cordless, but it has the performance of a mains powered machine. This machine has a no load speed of 4200 rpm that's double of its uh, closest uh, cordless competitor okay so let's look at the machine in, in overall as you can see in metabo fashion there's a lot of red knobs and buttons now the red knobs and buttons they tell us something they tell the oper operator hey i'm a feature i have a function so let's look at those um, at the back here we have our transportation lock which we can disengage this allows us to uh, raise the head. Now, this machine has a maximum depth of cut of 60 millimeters and a maximum width of cut of 120 millimeters, which makes it perfect for doing small cutting jobs, maybe posts, um, in some cases, uh, joists as well. Okay, so at the front of the machine here, we have our lock-on handle for the turntable miter. This machine will do a miter to 40, 47 degrees to the left and also 47 degrees to the right. At the back of the machine, we can, we can adjust the bevel, unlock this large, very large handle, and you can see everything about this machine can be operated or can be, can be reached from being in front of the machine. So there's no need to have to go around the back, which saves, saves some time. So we'll unlock this handle. This allows us to bevel the head to 45 degrees and at the back here we have, have a button which we can engage and then that will allow us to do 47 degrees or come the other way and we can do minus, uh, minus 2 degrees. Nice added benefit to this machine is the uh, table side extensions. We have an extension to the left and also an extension to the right with a, a depth stop. But uh, a very nice, thoughtful idea with this machine, especially when you're working at ground level, you're usually going to be doing long pieces of material, is that we can now, if we unlock it, we can remove the table extension. So if we're doing skirting, for example, or a very long piece of board, then we can now place the support away from the machine, which gives us that nice uh, added support from some distance from the product. Here we have our uh, trigger, switch the machine on, and you will notice that the trigger is for a left-handed operator and also, sorry, for right-handed operator and also for a left-handed operator. The front here we have our, our on button, which switches the machine on, and here we have our, our free spot LED light to illuminate the working area and you will notice it's out of the way of the of the blade so it doesn't get covered in any sawdust. We also have our precision laser again um, it's at the front of the machine so it's away from the sawdust enabling the operator to always see his cutting line without it getting clogged up with, with dust. We have a new and improved um, dust extraction chute at the back of the machine. Another nice feature about this machine is that we have blade spindle lock, so it makes it extremely efficient or extremely fast changing the blades if you're switching applications. Now to do that, just below the handle here, we have a red button. We can engage that. At the back of the machine, we have our, our Allen key is located, and we can just lock off the blade, and that then allows us to one-handedly change the blade. There's no need to have to remove the guard or to disassemble the machine to change the blade, which makes it extremely quick when switching between applications. Mm -hmm.